In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Welcome to a new episode of Stories. Today's story is about how we think badly about people. There were a father from the church went to visit one of the families. While he's visiting them, after the dinner, um, they were sitting together and everything was fine. Uh, then uh, he blessed the house and left. After he left, the wife said to her husband, what is the 50 pounds which was here? It was on the table. He said, I don't know. They looked for it. They didn't find it. So the, the lady said, I think Abuna stole it. Ah, father stole it. While he's leaving, he took the 50 pounds. The guy said, we were going to give it to him anyway, but this is very bad. He is he's really bad to take something not his. This is really, really bad. They said, no, 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 we'll not, we'll not go to a thief priest in his church. We'll not pray in his church anymore. And they kept doing that for two, three months. They didn't go to the church. And every time Abuna called them and talked to them, they gave him a hard time and they never went to the church. So a father, the father met with, with the lady one day in the uh, in the market and said, or on the mall, and I said to her, why you don't come? I thought when I visit you, you will come more. She said, because actually, uh, Father, we, we don't like your way. I said, my way? Wh what is my way? To take money that it's not yours, this is not good from a priest. So we don't trust you anymore. He said, take money? What kind of money? She said, on the, there were on the table are, uh, uh, 50 pounds, and after you left, we didn't find it at all, because and there were nobody else except you in the house. So why, Abuna, why you did that? Why you take uh, something not yours? Father looked at her and said, no, I didn't. Yes, I took the 50 pounds, really, but I put it for you under the gospel, under the Bible, because I, I thought it might go right or left or some water come on it. So I put it under the Bible and he left. The lady ran to the house and told her husband and they went to, to see the Bible. They found the 50 pounds under the Bible. That means they didn't read the Bible for two, three months. If you want to be away from judging others falsely, read the Bible. I think when you read the Bible, everything will be fine. It's not about 50 pounds, it's about the Bible itself. Even the Bible will change your, your way of thinking and how to look to the people. So, our lesson today from this story, that we have to keep reading the Bible as much as we can and never ever think badly about the people. Even if you think that you have evidence, maybe the evidence is wrong. Glory be to God forever and ever, amen.